Okay, so usually when I color a picture, I will already kind of have a foundation of colors or layers that I use, and then I'll simply add on, subtract, and modify the layers. So normally, again, what I'll do, I'll buy an action and then go ahead and tweak every single layer because that's just kind of how I work. I like to already have a base of stuff, but for the sake of this tutorial, I will show you guys some... Um, just regular ways of coloring from scratch. So let's go ahead and go to the core of everything. Let's just go to new adjustment layer, which most of the coloring will take place in. And we're going to go to curves. So let's see what this thing does right here. If you're not familiar with curves, it's a really great tool. You can go brighter, darker. Let's, I actually kind of like how this is turning out so far. So let's just bring it down a little and then you're going to toggle from RGB to blue because it's my favorite layer. I abuse it a lot. <laughs> so as you can see it's getting warmer every time you subtract blue and then as you add blue it adds on blue too. So it's just kind of like the atmosphere that you want the picture and the coloring that you want. So you can also make a second point and toggle it back and forth and kind of see what colors that you like. So I think this kind of looks nice. So that's the difference so far. Let's go ahead and add another layer. Hmm, let's see what we can do. This is literally like there's no way to, there's no steps involved to doing this. I will literally just test things out. I'll sit for hours and just toggle back and forth and test things out because that's the only way you're sure that this is the coloring that you want. So go, by going to selective color, you can go ahead and control what colors are present in the picture and what aren't. Taking up the yellow will bring in more yellow in the picture and that kind of actually looks a little nice. And taking away the black. I, I like how it looks with the black, but it looks too... I'll keep it around... I'll keep it around negative five. If you click on the red, where it says reds, you'll get a whole list of colors that you can then toggle through. It's kind of nice to be able to control every color. So you're literally seeing my process right now. And you may be surprised, you may be totally blown out of the water like, oh, this is so amazing. Or you could be like, what the hell? She does this. Yeah, I, I will spend hours doing this. But that's how, I, that's how I know that I'll get the picture, the coloring that I want. So let's just test out some of this stuff. And sometimes what I like to do is I'll get something really obnoxious like this and I'll actually change the layer. So I'll like hit soft light and it'll make, it'll come up with something kind of cool. <coughs> actually like how that kind of looks. The luminosity like that. It's one of my favorite layers. Let's go over color balance. Color balance is a really nice tool if you for sure want your picture to be one temperature. So if you want complete red, you know, you can kind of slide it over. If you want more yellow in there or more blue, if you want the picture to be a little bit more blue. I do want well, I'm not really sure. That kind of looks nice. Then you can go to highlights. I'm sorry if I will go ahead and do something without explaining because I'm not really used to teaching people <laughs> this kind of stuff because my thought process is kind of all over the place. So having to sit and really do step by step is a little difficult but I'm, I'm trying here just bear with me so I go, I went ahead and I lowered the the cyan why don't they just call this blue <laughs> like baby blue and then the yellow I just up a little yellow because I love yellow mid-tones let's see kind of looks nice I think everything looks nice and then I'm here for hours
So let's see what I've got so far. So this is what I've transformed my picture into so far with those just a couple of layers. Another tool that you can use is the gradient tool and you can have a transparent gradient which will show through which I think is kind of nice and you can lower this kind of add a little bit of light in your picture you can bring it down by just literally you can bring it down and bring it up by just moving your cursor along the page and I actually want to change the color of that so I'm going to use the color from the Jovan Jane headband that the model is wearing. Let's go ahead and use radial and make the scale a little brighter. And you can like literally move this around. And it's a great tool because you can add in light if you want um, like a sunburst in there. Go ahead and hit its screen. Kind of gives it that extra light. And if you don't like where the positioning is, you can literally just move it around. Is, that's what I love about this. You can just always change it. I just literally made a duplicate of that layer and then added it to the side. And then you can make another gradient layer. I'm all about I'm all about gradients. I'm all about light. So I like a lot of color in my pictures. Feel free not to go this crazy, but I mean it's not too bad. I'm not that bad with this. I've seen worse. Oh, my bad. Let's move this around. That looks kind of nice. That looks interesting, doesn't it? Put it right here up top. See that difference, how I added in that extra light up there? So let's go ahead and add another adjustment layer to seal all the colors in. How nice that looks already. Hmm. Using a two a two points, you can kind of add a little bit of contrast in there. So look how nice that looks already. Let's just add this to our color group right here. Okay, I don't know why I just well I do know what I just did. I didn't want to do that. There we go. So that is a huge difference so far. Just by adding a couple of layer, a color, couple of adjustment layers and gradients, you can kind of add that mood that you like. Actually, I really like how this looks. I've never really done coloring from scratch. Just kind of takes too long. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I really like how this looks so far. If you'd like a more editorial look, you can go ahead and go to hue saturation and lower the saturation a little so that it kind of looks like there's missing color I guess like that kind of looks nice that is I really like how that looks I'm like so shocked with myself I'm like oh I never knew I could do that so I think when we pull back the colors it actually makes it look a lot nicer So there it is. There's the finished. Well, I say it's the finished product, then I'll just go in and work on it some more. And I don't want to do that. So let's finish this up once and for all. Just go ahead and add some brightness and contrast in there. Mm, I think I really like how this looks so far. It's still within the same colors that were used and it still looks really natural but it it looks a lot nicer so yep go ahead and just save your image 
and then I always copy merge and then just make a new document just because again I'm really super paranoid and I don't want anything to happen to the original file so I just resized it so that I could show you guys how it'll look when I add noise so go to filter and then add noise and one thing you can do is a lot of photographers like to use noise in their pictures I think it looks really good I'm gonna set this to around two where you can kind of see it and it'll just give it like a nice green I don't know if you can tell yep you can tell it right here especially right there kind of just adds in a, again a nice grain and it makes your picture more fashion fashiony whatever they say I'm not going to pretend to be a spokes be an advocate for this type of thing but that's literally just what they do they just add noise and I, I happen to like it so I add it too there there's an explanation just be straight up so um that's all there is to it I will be adding more tutorials, um, more before and afters. Check out my Facebook uh, slash Jessica Gay Photo, and add me on Instagram. Um, it's under Jessica Gobesi, and I will have it on the next slide. If you have any questions at all, feel free to ask. And this is my first photography tutorial, so I hope I did pretty good. And sorry if I talk too much, but I try to explain everything as thoroughly as possible because I'm known to skip stuff and I really want to make sure that everyone kind of learned something from this and they weren't confused. So I hope this helped you guys out and you guys learned something or took something away from it. And thank you for watching.